What's up guys, continuing on with the coverage for Chicago Regionals, I have Andy Tam's 4th place Pandora of Dark Deck profile. He was the only Pandora player to make top 8, so let's see what he's got. For his Magic Stones, he had 3 Magic Stone of Gusting Skies. 3 Magic Stone of Blasting Waves, and 4 Magic Stone of Black Silence. So very traditional for uh, Pandora decks. He doesn't want to be able to miss off Cradle ever because it'll just ruin the whole strategy. So yeah, just a very traditional Magic Stone lineup. For the Resonators, he had 4 Elvish Priest, 3 Familiar of Holy Wind, 4 Gretel, 2 Cinderella, a Little Prince. Um, I actually like the addition of Little Prince. I love always having at least one Prince to search out with my Cinderella's. I, I started using Dead Man in my Persona Grim, de Grim deck profile, but I could see how Little Prince is pretty good too, because with the Elvish Priest it gets buffed, with the, um, the sets it gets buffed. So there's a lot of different ways to just make it into a great beat stick, so I don't think it's too bad to at least run one. Plus, you never know when it's going to save you from burn damage, or you know, if you're about to, you're a little under a thousand and you just want to heal up a bit, it's not so bad. And then, um, on the list for the the website that was showing off his deck, they only had 36 cards, and for some reason it didn't show four of them. I'm assuming that that's four Feetsing because he is running Pandora of Dark. This is totally not confirmed and it's just 100% speculation. I tried reaching out to Andy, but he didn't get back to me in time, and I will update it in the description and comments if he does tell me it was four Feetsings, but I'm pretty sure if that he's missing four cards, it's going to be Feetsing because... Come on, it's Pandora of Dark, Feetsing Ramps, it's perfect for the deck, so I'm pretty sure it was Feetsing, but, you know, don't quote me on it. And then 3 Seth, and 2 Menisophiles. For his spells, he had 4 Thunder, 3 Flame of the Outer World, 2 Stoning to Death, 4 Cake Zone, and 4 Zeke's. Um, just a quick conversation on Zeke's and Cake Zone. I don't know why, lately I've been feeling like only two of each is going to be fine. Um, especially after Moa drops. For some reason, I just feel like it started being to the point where the only thing I'm Cake Zoning is another Cake Zone. And I end up using Zeke's more on their graveyard in a response to like Necronomicon. I mean, of course I negate with it as well. But... I don't know, it just feels like even three of them feel like too much. Every time I mulligan, I, I get into one of these early and I'm just like, eh, I'd rather have spirals and all this, you know, beginning game stuff that's going to further my game state. I mean, and I have so many removal spells in my deck personally. I mean, even this deck has three flames, two stoning to deaths. I mean, he would even be able to side into Carmilla's if he wanted. Um, I just feel like once the monster already hits the board or the spell is resolved, like let's say a flame, which you can't respond to anyway, that card now doesn't do anything until the next opportunity that comes up. And I just feel like I might as well have cards that can answer everything instead of waiting to counter them. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of crap for it because, of course, these are great cards. But I don't know. I want to try maybe going a little away from the counter scene, maybe just using the counters against other counters, and then filling up the deck space with something that's going to either remove cards that are already on the field or, you know, try to get the opponent down to my level, like how Spiral is, where if you're not ramping and they are, it doesn't matter how many magic stones they have now because if you're both low at hand or... You know, you're slowly starting to recover and they're low at home, and they can't actually do anything with all that ramp. So I don't know, um, I guess we'll see how MOA turns out and how the ratios for these kind of counter spells end up playing with green. Continuing on with the side deck, he had an Abdul, uh, Christy slash Helsing, uh, Gru Balesta, and then two Jeweled Branch of Hora. Um, this card is actually just really cool. Uh, I dueled someone that was using Kaguya in my regional that used this, and I mean, it did kind of buy him a lot of time, and I ended up winning the game anyway, but he had targeted my Menistopheles so many times with this that he went from 4,000 life to 10, and then I doubled under for game, but essentially he survived that many turns of attacks because he couldn't dig out an answer for it. And of course, that's not like, you know, a great play, but I just, I could see how this is just annoying if you actually, in a deck like this, where you have the feed scenes that could be picking for 500 and you have all this um, ramp and you have the Menistopheles and whatnot, just being able to just tap their cards to just have free attacks or to like prevent them from attacking you is actually pretty cool. And then three saviors, three return to stories. 
I actually love that he can play so many of these because of the white, because they're all just amazing cards. And then two Necronomicon to abuse his graveyard, especially with Abdul, and to exceed. So once again, that was Andy Tam's deck profile that was fourth place for the Chicago Regionals. It was the only Pandora of Dark deck to actually even make top eight, so congratulations to him again for that. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please make sure to do because I have second and first place coming up tomorrow, as well as all of the Millennium Asia Ages box openings, Vingolf box openings, and the Structure deck for Faria and Melgus box openings coming all next week and revamp versions of all the decks, so make sure to stay tuned in for all of that, and I will catch you guys next time.